What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? First and foremost, I'd like to apologize. My normal setup is in storage because we are currently staying with our in-laws. So without further ado, this is the first episode in a short series that I'm calling Dollar General Finds. And this is the Mega Constructs Lego Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. Now this comes with a full color set of directions. There's even directions in here to turn the box into a little play set. And there's also directions in here on how to turn it into a display set stand. Like I'm currently using it. Only thing I didn't do is actually punch little holes in the top for the tires. You can see the minifig right there and how he goes together. There's a full parts list in the back. And that shows all the current sets that are in store, that are in the store right now. Now, I have not seen either of these monster trucks, and I've only seen a handful of these. Moving on to the minifigure. I can get the phone. If I can get my camera to better kind of focus. He's got a little skull design on his helmet. There it goes. It's pretty cool. One sided print, though. Nothing on the back. And as you've seen in the direction manual, there is no actual head, it's just a helmet. Moving on to the car. Now, I really like this set. Now, you'll probably notice how these are all actually odd number builds. It's the first time I've actually seen a 1x5. Most of the time they're 1x4s or 1x6s once you get past the 1x3s. We got six two-barrel carburetors on top. Really like these custom molded mag wheels and racing slicks. Some really good printing on the pieces right here and that that almost feels like it's been embossed into the plastic especially right there around the skull we got custom molded mirrors right here on both sides now we got a couple of molded, uh, custom molded pieces for the gas tank back here. Now, something that confused me when I was building this is why is there exhaust pipes back here when there are exhaust headers coming straight off the motor? That just doesn't make sense to me. And then we got this really nice custom molded front clip piece right here. That you can actually add some lights to if you wanted to. Some either yellow or clear uh, stud pieces. And I really like how this connects to the front end. Because it slides over those three studs right there. And actually connects to those two studs there. Again, this whole thing is odd number construction. The only even number part is this right here in the center of the main plate or chassis. And then a couple of uh, pieces right here that you actually have to use some 1x3s with dual studs on the top to connect everything to.
And then moving back on to the box, which I'm currently using to uh, hold stuff inside. Now I got this from the Dollar General for $10. Each set is $10. I really like this because it's an off-brand, actually licensed product. Now when I was looking at the box to make this video, I noticed how these two sets are completely different from the actual sets that they have in the store. As you can see, they got like this Mustang looking like thing there and there. Whereas here, they got that Mustang looking like thing right there, which I really like that motor sticking out the top and that rear wing on it. And then they got this one right here, which also ha looks like it's got a couple of custom molded pieces on it. But that's pretty much everything. It is compatible with actual Legos. My son has his own set, and he's proven that quite well. And that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching to the end. If you like what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more review videos, please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. So this way you can be notified for when new sets come out or new videos come out. And yeah, um you want to see more of these videos go ahead and jump over to my channel and check out my playlists as always leave a comment and until next time I'm Bones you are whoever you are and I am out of here